Hello gamers, and welcome back to Sea of Stars! In the last episode, we explored the Morelands and made our way down to the Stonemason's outpost where we helped out slash didn't help out a wizard named Malcomut. He was causing some trouble for the local town, putting him in danger of waking up this big thing called the Sleeping Serpent. We averted disaster, we did our job. In today's episode, we are going to continue on the journey down the mountain get to the town of Brisk where it's rumored that we'll be able to procure a ship that will take us to the Wraith Islands so we can continue our main journey. If you want to join the lovely humans here in chat, you can do so at twitch.tv slash beardonfire. You can also click the link in the description below. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down and we'll see you in the video. So we're just going to jump right in and we're continuing on to Brisk. Hope you're all having a lovely day, day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Ooh, I fist farted. It's time. Look at that serpent. I'm glad it's still asleep. If there's a tavern, there will be a chef, so maybe I can learn a special recipe or something. Whoa. Girl, check it out. No way! You've been wanting to see the sleeper since you were a kid. How does it feel? Like all my summer days are happening at the same time. <laughs> the adventure life is the best life. Do you think Carl's going to die? Are they going to do that to us? Because he's like so excited. He's like the most innocent, excited human that has ever existed. Teeks, we're almost there. Get ready for a swim. Oh, we're going to swim. Literally. Coral Cascades. All right, so we get through this and it looks like Brisk is down below. Coral. You know, if you're swimming, you gotta watch out for coral. It'll cut you. It'll cut you real good. Only one way to go. Um, looking for a boat? Head over to the port town of Brisk and meet Captain Cliche's crew. It's a lot of. Uh... Oh, we found some pirate garb. Okay. <laughs> Is this a trick? We go to town, dress as pirates, and then suddenly, like, they take us in. That would be hilarious. All right, we're going to give Pirate Garb to Zale. He's got a little, little bit of extra defense. A weird place for wheat to grow, if I'm being honest. Like, that's not the spot, right? Wheat. In the middle of the island paradise. Whoa, hey. Hey. Whoa! Oh, it's a reflection. Okay, that was tripping me out. It's like, is it two fish stacked? What's going on? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. We're going to do an attack with a little extra juice on this homie. Mm -hmm. Blocked? No block. That was a no block. Dude, I only just now learned how to actually get... Uh, three plus of those icons knocked out using the boosts. Pretty sure I was supposed to figure that out in the Elder Mist Trials like hours ago. But, got nothing. Boom. See, this is why we grinded a little bit. Now we're just breezing through content. Breezing. Okay. Swimming. Sick. Left, right, or middle. We're gonna go right. Feeling right.
Oh. <laughs> Another rainbow conch? Wow, how many rainbow conches do we have now? And the thing is, like, I bet we missed some. We have six. Six rainbow conches. We could call us the conscientious objectors. Butthole. Okay, am I obsessed with buttholes, or does the game just do that? All right, because it doesn't seem like a me thing. It just seems like a game thing. Oh, I don't think we're... We're not getting any of these. So let's just attack, get some boost going. Maybe knock out some crowbs. What's the other thing? Mangler fish. <laughs> Solid. That's another theme. Outer Wilds Angler Fish. And then we've got Sea of Stars Angler Fish. Shit, I am messing up those blocks. Left and right. All right. Let's just see how we do with the Sun Ball. Well, we only have one. Bubble drop. Okay, he's going to drop to the ground. Yes. Okay. Timed it. Giving it again. Locked. Dude, that would have done a shitload of damage. My God. All right. So a girl can do a little nourish. Valir has... Regen. Or like health steal. I think it only works with normal attacks though. So let's see. take that opportunity to, you know, get as many MPs at the end as you can. Oh, hey, we can crawl back up here for no reason. Secret path. We've been looking for this the entire game. Finally have some payoff. Finally have some payoff. 50 gold. Oh, there's like a picture of a rainbow conch right here. Or just conch. Mm. But for real, pay dirt. Finally. Okay, though, for real, we need to get up back up to the top because we took the rightmost and we should have taken the leftmost. Uh, yes. Can we swim past the waterfall? What's going on? How do we get higher? Okay, okay. Is that it? Oh, we can climb up. Oh. A little bit of a current right here. I want to check this corner before we get too far ahead. All right, so some kind of path up there. Oh. Climb spot. Oh, no. Okay, good. At least it stayed. Damn. Damn. 
Woo! All the way back to the top, huh? Okay, did we check back here for anything? No. Now I'm doubling down on the search for secrets. Okay, that was the ladder. What is this? Potatoes. Some hungry little fishies down below. We'll have to give them something to eat. Okay, well... For sure, I'm exploring every single angle of this now. Also, I want that treasure chest. Oh, we got that treasure chest. Just kidding. Mangler fish. This is an either or situation. We can break either the leftmost or the rightmost uh, lock. Dude, I love this mechanic so much. This is like seriously breathed like a new life into all RPGs for me. Like, all of them are better off thanks to this. Yep, going for this guy. We have not missed a single block of that attack. Not a single one. Troll Hunter, hello! How are you doing? How was apartment hunting? Almost. 28. We'll do a solstice strike just in hopes. Yeah. We're making our way down a, uh, a waterfall. Trying to get to the city of Brisk. So we're making all kinds of progress. Boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, Brisk. Apparently we can find boats and ships at Brisk. I think the game is subtly hinting at that. Oh, you found one. Hell yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome. Since it was your last day. <laughs> like, pressure's on. Uh, Okay, we got to go somewhere. Because I want to get up there. I want up there. I can't jump up from here, can I? No. No. So chat, yesterday, <laughs> I was asking, hey, should I bring some tools to go do this thing? And what I ended up doing is, you know, I contacted uh, contacted my brother-in-law and I said, hey, what should I bring? Do I need to bring some tools? And he said, no, nah, I got this. I said, okay, cool. I should have brought some tools. I should have brought some tools with me. Just because we didn't have a drill with proper drill bits. We had a drill for like a like a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver to install the blinds, but we didn't have like a drill to pre-drill the holes, which would have been so nice to have. 
but no such luck. So we got it done. We got it done. We just kind of like half-assed it a little bit, if I'm being totally honest. We half-assed that drilling. <laughs> to, to be sure. So I think you had to go back and kind of like uh, drill like a second hole. So basically like there were two drill holes for each bracket that we installed and we only did one because the angle was like super, super awkward. I should have listened to Nate 100%. Super an uh, awkward angle. It was rough. Wow. Like game, we get it. We get it. We know we're going to go get a boat at Brisk. They've told us like six times. Uh, but yeah, long story short, we got it done. It was a it was a little janky. I think it's going to require some going back and kind of fixing things up a little bit, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so I'm thinking we can get this guy broke it. Yeah. Oh, I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Oh, well, all good. We'll just focus fire on this dude then. Oh, somebody might die. Ooh, somebody might die. Oof. We got a pink bee today. Yeah! Rainier beanie too. See that? Little beer theme going on today. Oh, you're dead. Doesn't matter if we block. Blocked and dead. Let's just do a nourish. Do a beanie giveaway? No way, my beanies are precious. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. That is not a terrible idea. The more I think about it, Beanie giveaway would be pretty sick. I happen to live like really close to a bunch of breweries, and breweries have the best beanies, hands down. Can we get this guy? Alright, Garl, you got this. He did get this. Maybe not from the beard beanie stash, but you get a beanie made with your logo on it. That would actually be sick! Just as I started streaming, um, JJ, my artist, got back to me today, so we might be in business for some emotes coming up real soon. We were discussing, like, prices and stuff. I want to make sure, like, since I'm hiring a real artist who doesn't necessarily specialize in emotes, he doesn't have, like, templates or anything like that, that he gets paid well. You're going to die again? Two times one battle? Zale. Come on. Excuse me, I failed him. <clears throat> hey, official beard on fire merch. That does sound sick. All right, I'm getting hyped up for the merch now. Also I'm getting hyped up for beanie shopping. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, we got, we got more to explore here. Oh, we made it all the way down to the beach. Beach day, guys. Bust out the towels. Let's go. Kidding. I don't have sunscreen. I will be wearing a hoodie and pants because I'm a ginger, and that's how we do beach days. Either SPF 70 or fully covered head to toe. <laughs> I feel so bad every time I've, like, forgotten sunscreen at a beach day. I am that guy. I'm 100% that guy. Like, I could be an albino if I was, like, one shade lighter. Very fair skin. I burn like crazy. There's no boat here. Better come to Brisk to the east. Dude... It's going to be a pirate town. Brisk is going to be a pirate town, and we're going to get fucked. That's what's going to happen. Every one of these signs is like, come to Brisk, come to Brisk. No. 
There wouldn't be that many signs saying come to Brisk if it was anything normal. I did not expect this attack. This was good. Ooh, that was a tough, that was a tough angle. No! Zale! I keep forgetting to heal you, man. Poor Zale. Ooh, I thought you were going to be dead. Forty one balls. That was nuts. We always have sunscreen in your card. That's the call. That is the call. Usually it's like when I'm camping or something, because, you know, it's like Washington State. We're really close to beaches, so a lot of the places we go camping happen to have a beach. But I don't think about that. Like camping and sunscreen is not a thing that usually goes hand in hand to me in my head, because like I'm pretty much always in a covered spot, whether it's trees, you know, 99 percent of the fucking time we've got tree cover or we've got like a tent or we've got some kind of like awning thing that we bring with us like to cover up the table. Okay, so we're going to do this one first. Yeah, and then, then everybody's like, hey, we should go down to the beach. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea. Shit. Sunscreen. Better grab my hoodie. Bleared Garl learned a combo skill. Bash drop. Hell yeah. Okay. Got new fucking combo skills. We always went camping near lakes. Yep, totally. Yeah, it's like, oh, damn. You know, when I was a kid, like, I got, you know, the the really bad sunburn. Like, I'd blit, like, my feet. It was a day where we went out to, like, uh, like an amusement park. It was, uh, it's called Big Timber Water Slide. It doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. It's really sad to drive by, actually, because you can still see the water slides like but dismantled and like growing grass and mold on the hills. It sucks. But yeah, we went there and it was such a badass day. And my mom kept telling me to put on sunscreen. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, whatever. And then I didn't. And I got the tops of my ear. Like by the end of the day, the tops of my ears were blistered, as were the tops of my feet. Like I couldn't walk because like the tops of my feet were just like one solid blister took weeks to get over that one yeah oh yeah it was real bad it's real bad like i can't help but think to myself like oh yep skin cancer coming baby it's coming all from that day it's not fair how people have been treating malcolm Mood. okay nothing new there uh we already listened to all the stories i guess y'all haven't heard the great summoning no, you were here yesterday. You did. Badass Lady Gamer, you weren't here, but I don't know if I can valley girl my way through another story. I'm glad we could help. Yep, 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 yep. Nothing new. Nothing new here, guys. We already got full recipe foods. We just take a rest. Dude, I'm stoked we got a new combo move. Garl should be part of every fucking combo. Garl's the meat of the sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Like the most important part. Either Brisk is the nicest town anticipating everybody needs a boat or we're going to get tied up and non-consensual things will be happening to us. I think it's that one. Uh, of course, I want to go to the places that I'm not supposed to go yet. Fishing. Yes. Lavish Lake. Ooh, 
Oh, shit. What do we got here? Nothing new. Nothing new. Figured out the fishing game, though. The fishing mini game is actually pretty, pretty fucking awesome. So you cast and you cast all the way to the very end of the lake, no matter what. You just decide when you want the little bobber thing to drop. So then you aim it and then you reel when you've got this like the blue bubble stream. That's when you reel. But if the fish ever gets outside of the bubble stream, you stop reeling because the line's going to break. So, like, I figured a lot of things are going to... Like, a lot of games are just going to copy Stardew Valley with, like, the little timer game. You know, like, the mini game with the, the fish timer, which is also really fun. That's one of my favorite parts of Stardew Valley. But I think a lot of games has decided, like, oh, yeah, we're just, just going to do that. Like, it's easy. Fuck it. Let's just steal that, steal that mechanic for our game. And it's like they don't even try. But this game said, you know what? No, we're going to do something different. And they did. Maybe they copied it from somebody else. If they did, I've never heard of the game. Like, I'm all about copying good mechanics from one game and putting it into your game. Like, as long as it's different enough to, like, you know, be valid and not just, like, a carbon copy. I think that's totally legit. But I so appreciate it games that actually like push the envelope a little bit you know we made it just look at this place oh shit cutscene that bird's gonna shit oh fellow adventurers oh they have skulls though Ship equals money. All done, Captain. The signpost should lead. <laughs> Wait, we can't do. We can't do another western. The signpost should lead them straight to us. Be on the lookout. We can't miss them. Can do, Captain. Lookout is my middle name. We will find suitable adventurers for this quest, or my name is not Keenathan. I have so many regrets. Yeah, you get to a town, the first thing you do is climb up on the rooftops. This is just standard for any town you visit IRL or elsewise. This is what you do. Yep. I'm full of meals, all right. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> we shall see. Keep going for the goat boat. So are they just like insanely good marketers? Is that what's going on? This pirate crew is just like that good? The pirate crew is back. Apparently they're looking for some coin. Do you get the conch in the chest up there? I wonder what they're for. Yeah. So that's what, eight conches? Yup. Dude. These guys. I'm so suspicious of this. We're playing pirates today just to decide who I'll, just have to decide who I'll be. Hey, this group's looks lo group looks like they can sail. Greetings, is this your boat? A vast strangers. You got anything to say to the captain? You can say it to me. First mate Yolanda Fortwall at your service. In fact, service is my middle name. We're a pirate crew searching for the legendary ghost ship. We don't engage in battle anymore, but back in the day, we did it all. Fetching a remedy in a cavern only to find out the town had burned in the meantime? Check. 
Being left at one hit point so the big baddie could kill us next time? Double check. These are all RPG tropes. Heck, we'd be even been to jail because four Imperial soldiers appeared during dialogue instead of a random encounter. Uh, tough crowd, huh? Fine, let's do introductions. Meet our leader, Captain Cliche, daughter of a legendary pirate. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. We were hoping we could... The one in the back with the oversized shirt. That's our quartermaster, Valtrade. He's the only guy that stood that's good at everything. Forgot it. I knew I was going to forget at least one. Fucking gone. Ahoy there. <laughs> and the tall one's Kenathan, our wind mage. Keeps our sails full so no one has to row. Greetings, adventurers! My name is Kenathan! Right. In case you noticed the double eye patch there, that's because Kenathan can only do magic while blindfolded. <laughs> discovered his powers as a kid when he put on a pirate costume while he was already wearing a pirate costume. Nice to meet you all. I'm Valir. These are my friends Zale, Garl, and Teeks. We need to secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. Ahoy, Captain. We sound basically the same because I can't remember the voice. Seems to me that these two be solstice warriors. Maybe we'll do a pirate voice for him. I... Seems that be the case. What impeccable timing! Now, Captain Cliche here can certainly take y'all to Wraith Island. For a price, of course. Mm. Shall we make a deal? If you can beat Valtrade at arm wrestling, you get to ride for free. But if you lose... You'll have to run a little errand for us. What do you say? Terms are simple enough. I'm not sure we should be making a deal with pirates. Seem nice to me. Doesn't feel like you have much of a choice. Oh sure, go ahead and refuse the call so we can all pretend it might not happen. Keep it safe and predictable. Any other tropes you had in mind for your journey? How about buying linear upgrades from every single town where blacksmiths are somehow increasingly more capable the further up north they live? This is like the Deadpool of RPGs. And who, of course, happened to live in a shed despite selling daggers at 25,000 gold a pop? You guys are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fine. Have it your way. When you're ready for adventure, come meet us at the Humble Boast and we'll make a deal. The Humble Boast? Local tavern. Just follow the docks. <gasps> Look alive, crew. Time to call it a day. Aye, aye, Captain. You guys placed all those signs. Only to have it like this. I knew it! There's a tavern! Picking back sounds good. I'll go right now to try to meet the chef. See you there! Talk about a wacky bunch. 
It seemed innocuous enough. We should probably go for it. To the humble boast then. Oh my god, queen. <laughs> All right. Pirate's honor. Hey, you're the ones who fixed the flying lift. Thanks. It's nice to be able to visit Brisk for some shopping again. We missed you on the uh, waterfall ride. I'm in the market for a new dinghy, but I'm not sure which one I want. Heading out? Have a look at my fresh vegetables. Let's see. So we're low on dairy. We have no onion. I meant to get an even number. Because, you know, sometimes you need two. You just need two for a lot of recipes, so that's what we're doing. Merchant, you've been called out. Yeah, you have slightly better... Nope, the same. You have the same items available that I can buy elsewhere. So, there it is. We're not doing pendants. We're just not rolling with pendants this game. Just seems cheap. You know? We're not cheaters. It's not how we roll. Ooh, another pirate garb. Well, here we go. We're pirates now. Anything to jump down to here? Maybe there? No? Jump up? Nope. Oh. Oh. Little tightrope walking to do. See that sleeper statue? My friend says there's an older version of it hidden somewhere, but I don't believe her. Statue of the sleeper. What do you know? Guard. I love my job. I'd be hanging out in the sun all day anyway. There's nothing I love more than spending time with my grandkid. What a blessing. Grandpa says we'll eat some ice cream later. I can't wait. It will soon be the high season. We're getting ready to double patrol time. And double the paychecks, I hope. Okay, I want to get down here. Wow, we have a lot of tight ropes to walk. Okay, what's up down here? The abandoned wizard lab to the north of Brisk. I have half a mind to go in there and see if there's any treasure, but the thing doesn't even have a door. I know. I know. Wait. Who's climbed up on something? Okay. There's got to be something down here, right? Hmm. This wouldn't exist for no reason. Or maybe it would. I don't know. Thirty gold. Poor sucker who left their gold out on the rooftop, thinking it was safe. They didn't expect us. Wait, we came up here already. Pirates are in town. I'll try to sneak up on them. You should. We should too. Welcome to Chump Change Chests. For only five gold, you can open any one chest and keep its contents. If you can find the ten gold grand pies five times, we'll give you a special reward. Want to give it a shot? Just five gold? Yeah? Great, just pick a chest now. Any chest. Okay, is there any difference between these chests? They look like the exact same sprite. Middle chest, 
10 gold. That's the grand prize indeed. Thanks for playing. Okay, so if we can find it f five times in a row. If you can find the 10, gra 10 gold grand prize five, four more times, I'll give you a special reward. Wow. Wow. Middle chest, middle chest. Well, we're nailing it. Watch, the last one is gonna, like, cost more. Oh. Just two more times, okay. Middle chest only. Bunch bunch. At it again. Yeah, how do we get on top of this roof? That was a restaurant. I think we went across that one already. Yes. And we went in there because it popped us out this side. Okay. So we did this left hand stuff already. Time to go down here. I think we already went up that little ladder too. This is a cool little town. Lots of verticality. Cool places to explore. I like it. Power belt. Equip. Oh, you already have a power belt. Yeah, I gotta say, with so much, like, movement and verticality in this map, this would be a really cool one to do, like, if there's a full-on, like, invasion or battle happening. I bet this guy. This guy's got something special. Let's make our way up to him. 
Plus, I hear there's good money to be made there. Wouldn't starting a new be great? I don't know. I've heard scary things about Wraith Island. It's cursed or something. Apparently, no one who goes there ever returns. <laughs> Nonsense. They just want to keep the good opportunities to themselves. Well, our neighbors never returned. Exactly! They had no reason to. Don't you see? I'm not too sure about this. Breach. All right. Uh, we should probably try to drop down in this hole, right? Sapphire ore. I almost jumped down without grabbing that. I was good this week, so now we're eating my favorite meal tonight. I'm preparing my son's favorite dish today. Oh, good for you, kid. Backstory. I love how detailed the environments are in this game. I'm buying it next. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. It's actually, I don't know if you have Xbox uh, Game Pass, but Xbox Game Pass has it for, uh, like on their subscription or whatever. That's how I'm playing it. I really should ask my landlord to block the entrance at the top. People keep passing through my place. Yeah, yeah, you probably should. Yep, okay, so to get there, we go across and then up and over. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's cool. They actually have like a viewing spot. Did you guys ever play Diablo 4? Like, not my favorite game. It's shit. Hope that was the way. Yeah, it looks like that was the only way. No, but I watched Scotty play it. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good game, but they had so many opportunities missed. Like, the camera angle in the game is so far zoomed in, and the, the environments are gorgeous. Like, the game did... Like, their art team did such a fantastic job. Um, But they didn't take advantage of it at all. You're so zoomed in all the time that it's just kind of stupid. Oh, can I push this down? Oh, <gasps> can push it down. Uh, it is very grindy. It is grindy for sure. It's not so bad during like the seasonal events that they have going on. But, but yeah, I mean, the the non-seasonal stuff is gr so grindy. It is like brutally grindy, and the end boss is just. It's not even like a, like Diablo's a game about gearing up. Over the course of the game, you know, you pick up the best gear, you get legendaries, you level up, you get your character, like, tweaked to the best possible way. And then the final boss is basically, like, just a timing game where you have to get the timing perfectly, almost like uh, Metroidvania or something. You just can't get hit because you insta-die no matter what. Um, but anyway, okay, so... The environments are super detailed. They're amazing, but the camera's too drawn in, so you never actually get to see the gorgeousness that is the game. And they have like five spots in the whole game. They're kind of like these view spots that we just saw where you zoom out and you get to actually like see it from big perspective. It's like, damn, this is gorgeous. It's not like the camera goes like hugely way out so you can see the whole map. No, it's like you can see a little bit more of the map and it's like, why didn't they just make that the camera angle for the entire game? Because you get to see all of the really cool shit that they built. Instead, you're just hyper-focused, zoomed in. It's like st stupid opportunity missed. They did all this work for their art team and then got nothing out of it. This is my favorite spot. Can you feel the breeze? It's no wonder how the town got its name. Really? All that work to come and talk to you, dude? Flash check out the view. All right. We drop down. <gasps> oh. The final battle looked cool enough. It is cool. It's a cool final battle. You just have to dodge your ass off. I'm playing Fortnite with the spawn. Some of our responses are all delayed. Awesome. How is the Fortnite? Whoever lives here must eat a lot of bananas. 
and chicken. All right. I had a nightmare the other day where the sleeper was waking up. I'm sure glad I'm not descended from Sears. But what if you are and you just don't know? Seriously, so many things to explore. I thought we were done. Okay, did we already go up here? I think... I think we did. Yeah, we did. We did not go down and talk to that guard, though, or go inside of this little, little room. Picnic basket. What a big ass town. I hear the humble boast has a wheels table now. I should probably give it a shot. I wonder what a wheels table is. You ever try the fishing lake north of Brisk? I go there all the time to relax. Yeah, that's how we're so stocked up on fish giblets. We were going to play pirates, but we got into an argument again because we both wanted to be Keenathan. You wanted to be Keenathan? That's wild. I could sure go for a swim right about now. I'm always caught in the middle of their argument. Do I look like a carrier pigeon? Not fair. She always picks Keenathan. Now there is like a whole fucking argument happening. Oh no, someone found our secret spot. We found this while digging. You can have it if you promise not to tell. Dude, don't tell anyone about our secret spot. So I bet there's an achievement in this game for finding all of the rainbow conches. It's gotta be. Okay, so we can just swim off into the ocean. Good, we're playing the Rainbow Friends mod. He's obsessed, nice. They're making out in their secret spot. Making out and, you know, building sand castles. It's very romantic. Even cleaning clothes is fun when you have a beach. Once you don't have sunscreen, and then you're just thinking about how badly burnt you are. This dude. I'm surprised he goes anywhere. He's always falling asleep. Hey, the humble boast. Please boast humbly and responsibly. Don't forget you can buy cooking ingredients. We have lots of variety here at Brisk. Didn't talk to this guy. Hey, hey! I like your hat! I can go for a swim right about now. I saw, someone, I saw someone swim under the docks the other day. Such irresponsible behavior. I thought he was all impressed. Nope. Machinery used for building ships. It's a dry dock. Best not to judge. Yep. Ooh, romance. They're doing their thing. Okay. Okay. Wait, did we go in here? We did. Okay, I want to go back to the other side, though, because I think there's some things we can explore over there. Over yonder. It's signed Darrow. Yeah, look at that painting. Apparently the wheels table is what it's all about over at that humble boast.
Supplies and trade goods. Sounds like something you shouldn't leave lying around when there's pirates in town. Okay, we've been over there. Okay, back up the stairs. We need to get that treasure chest right there. So to do that, we got to get back up top. We've gone so far in this town, I'm like, kind of kind of lost, not going to lie. Okay, we can go up here. There we go. Got it. This town is huge. Yeah, it's gigantic. Remember, like, Final Fantasy 3 would be like, you know six buildings you thought it was huge that was like the biggest town you ever saw there it is found an arcane amulet okay magic defense plus 10 awesome we've been stacking up uh defense on this dude so we'll keep that going oh a jump across. A jump across! I like to come here and watch the boats arriving. Nerd. Uh, what do we got up here? But we never went in here. Oh, what's up, homie? Edward Roulette! Welcome all! Welcome to the bonus spin roulette. Pick a number, and if it lands on it, you win a special prize. Spin the BS roulette. <laughs> oh, gonna go play the Evil Within. Yeah, see you later. Have fun. That's a game I've got to pick up. Yeah, we'll spin the BS roulette. We didn't even pick a number. Okay, it's going to be 50. 50! You lose! Please come back again. Eighty-two. Eighty-two, you lose! Starting to think BS doesn't stand for bonus spin, does it? Mother. Fuck you, Edward. I'm never coming back to spin your stupid wheel ever again. Hey! Dude, it's the same guy! The same guy! Fuck. Might interest a quiz master. 
Okay, well, he wasn't lying. I thought that was the same dude just dressed up in a hood outside. He was just going to screw us over. It's kind of boring guarding this spot. Nothing ever happens. Careful what you wish for, my dude. Enjoy your chilling out. Yeah, I don't think <clears throat> I don't think we ever went down here. Oh no, we did. Oh, this is the person who's going back and forth between <laughs> the people who are arguing. That's funny. They're actually going in between the two other two characters who complained about uh, arguing. Okay, let's go try to swim under the docks because they said we could do that. I like how they don't actually swim. They just like tread water quickly. Stroke, tread, 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 tread. Oh, 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 another rainbow conch. Um, how much for the devil skull? This is what I want, and I'm going to make the pirates fucking put it at the bow of their ship for the entire ride. And I will have lived out my destiny. Then we can just quit adventuring from then on. Right? That's it. That's the end. Wow. You just leave all your money laying out. Uh, hi! Welcome to my house. I'm sorry, but I am not accepting visitors at this time. Unless you happen to carry a trader's signet. How about 12 rainbow conches? Kind of a big deal. Not so. Well, you have a good day. I'm warning you, I'm about to swim right out of here. Okay. Can we go under the ship? I know, right? Traitor's signet? Psh. Oh, these look like characters. Ugh, I hate fishing so much, but my dad says we can't leave until we've caught enough. We've been here forever. You think you can lend a hand? Once we have 40 fillets, we'll be able to leave. Can you spare some fish? I really want to get out of here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude. We only have 16, so we should go fishing a shitload. Only 24 to go. You got this, son. Only 24 more. Like his son, who's clearly not fishing and just bartered for some fillets. All right. Oh, cool. Little ladder that is blocked. Get your signs out of here, pirates. God. Like, littering, basically. Alright, well, it looks like we have to go fish for 24 more fillets. Plus some bonus, since I just gave away all my fillets, and I need some. Because, you know, seafood. I'm tired of fishing. Fishing for fish, Dad. Well, that's too damn bad. <laughs> and Dad's also like, and I'm not catching anything myself. The next 24 is on you, bitch. <laughs> Dad! Says, I don't care how you make it happen. Just make it happen. Watch there not even be enough fish. Yep. Dude, easy. Dad, you're embarrassing me in front of these adventurers swimming around and scaring all the fish away. 100%. That's that's what we do. Oh, that was not my best cast. Nor was that. Come on. 
Wow. That actually started fighting right there at the end. Yeah, I will fish this entire place dry. Like, test me, game. Test me. You think I care about resource conservation? I don't. I don't give a fuck. There it is, 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 there it is. The sweet spot. Sweet spot, let's go. I can't stand fishing in Stardew. Yeah, the fishing in this game, it's, it's more fun than Stardew, I gotta say. The Stardew one, especially at the beginning, like when I didn't quite understand it, getting the timing right was such a bitch. <laughs> it was such a bitch, it still is. Yo, fish, chill, chill the F out. And especially when you add the treasure chest in there, because you want to get the fucking treasure every time in Stardew. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle, right in the middle. Okay, yep, got it. Nope. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, just hold X when the fish is in the blue spot. That's all you need to do. Just got this. Fishing just makes me panicky, even in Animal Crossing, which probably has the easiest fishing ever. <laughs> I've never played Animal Crossing. Whoops, I did not mean to hit the button, but it works. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Mm. Okay, we are going to fish this entire fishing hole dry, and the locals will hate us forever. You want a piece? A juicy piece? Look at this. Look at this tasty bobber. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like I said, every fish gone. I don't give a fuck. Everybody who said they like fishing in this fishing hole, that one guy, hate to break it to him. Fishing here is done. Should have never told me about this place. Hoping seafood counts as a fillet. Should, yeah, see, it is on them. It's 100% on them. Yeah, be careful who you're blabbing to, man, about your secret fishing spot. When we just met, we just met. You know, like I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna take that information and do with it what I will. And what I will do is go fish. I'm gonna fish harder than anybody's fished in that hole ever before, ever. It's on them, man. It's on them. <laughs> nice, we got a clip. <laughs> Hell yes. All right. Kid, we had to do horrible things for this. I want you to know this is partially on you. I only have 15? We had to destroy an entire ecosystem for only 15 fillets and we still need nine more. 
You found a secret makeout corner, and then these people just told you where the exactly, exactly. And they're harboring pirates. Like this town is just like they're in the market for some lessons to be learned. You know what I'm saying? They're in the fucking market. Mm -hmm. Is this the guy? Nope. Let's go see if they restocked. And apparently we only, only fish count. Other seafood doesn't count. So the jellyfish and the hardtail, they don't count as fish for fillets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it again. That's what's happening. I'm doing it again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Round two. Fishy fish. What you think is gonna happen? Who's gonna win this? It's not you. That's right, it's me. That's right, it's me, baby! That's what I thought. No, I don't want that. I just want the fish. Just the fish. The rest of y'all calm your tits. Fish tits. Calm your fish tits. Okay, now we're just all wasting- we're wasting each other's time here. We're wasting each other's time. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. There it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What what are you what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? You're coming to hang out in my backpack. That's what you're doing. Rocco, the only thing you're getting spoiled right now is the fact that we're decimating a fucking ecosystem for some kid who doesn't want to fish for his dad. Nope, I don't want that one. I want the actual fish. The fishing minigame is actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I really like it. Okay, the fish. The fish. Yeah, give me the fish. Also, hey, thank you for that gifted sub. TFG, you uh, tough... Yeah, TF guy! 44, you're back! Hey, what up, what up, what up? Murica. Murica indeed. Yeah. They invited Murica into their town. And they're getting exactly what they fucking asked for. And they didn't know they were asking for it. What they asked for was somebody to get them some fish. What they got was somebody who's taking all the fish. All of the fish. For America. Let's go. Again, stop wasting your time, fish. Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. Get my backpack. Mm hmm. All right. How many fishies we got? 15 fishies. That's exactly how many fishies we need. Let me murder you, fish! Yeah. Yeah. You should be excited to play this game. This game has been awesome. They built so many cool mechanics into this. If you've ever played an old school RPG, this is the fucking game for you. Because they've added... <laughs> it's fun. Like, every little moment in this game is a blast. Like, even just exploring the town for probably the last 35, like, 40 minutes has been super fun. They added so much, like, three-dimensionality that it's crazy. You got it, son! Nine more to go! Okay, kid. You don't feel like fishing again. Again, you've brought this upon yourself. When somebody complains to you that there's no more fish in the fishing hole, I just want you to know, deep down in your heart of hearts, that this was you. Maybe Summer Sale. Yeah. Or uh, if you've got Xbox. It's on Xbox Game Pass right now. Rainbow conch! Dude, I have so many rainbow conches. 
I'm the fucking rainbow conch champion. Baker's dozen. I could bake a conch. Baking croissant. There you go. Conch croissant is what we're after. We could have a conch croissant, baker's dozen of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is I even doing? Oh yeah, we gotta go to the humble uh the humble bundle. Post, that's what I meant to say. Beard brain locked up was buffering. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I asked for a coffee and explained I had to study for an exam. Then the waiter said, oh, so not a small, then a medium? I said I'm studying for finals. He apologized and gave me a large. Good story. You're just kind of an asshole. Ask for what you want. God, treat the wait staff better. Nothing better than a cold drink after a hard day of work being busier than everyone else. Yeah, tell me about it. You should go fishing for rest. Just kidding. You can't. Fishing's over for this town. I have a very unique situation at work. I wear many hats and everything would stop working well if I ever quit or went on vacation. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. It was less than 100 yards in front of my ship. What's that? Oh yeah? Well, it was less than 10 yards from my ship. Once. I'm keeping an eye on these pirates. I bet you are. A lot of pirate infatuation going on in this town. I think people have a thing for pirates. That's why they welcome them so much. Bunch of secret pirate boners. I was on a trip to Lucent once, and they also had stools to sit on. Chalk one up for Lucent. Wow. This town had their secrets that aren't really secrets. Yeah, the makeout spot. That person's house that we stumbled into that they rudely kicked us out of because we didn't have some badge. The kid who learned a lesson. You now have a good one. And we're staying the night. Wow. <laughs> the bullet just clipped my brain buffering. You don't got to brag about it. You're both on the same, what, brain wavelength? Like your brain works better than mine? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, you may have been right. You may have been right. Look at Zale not doing push-ups. I mean, this is like, it's got to be a comfortable place for Zale not to be doing push-ups at any given time. I'm not too sure about dealing with pirates either, but we do need a boat ride. Oh, we're just chilling without Garl? Hey, you want to hear a story? No. <laughs> we're just going to rest because we don't have any space for more cooked meals. Hopefully we can get a buff where we can like have more cooked meals on us. My friend here, who is one of my many connections throughout the world, just told me what happened in the wind tunnels. Scary stuff. Thanks again for the help. Oh, is this the wheels table? <gasps> it's the wheels table. Nah, mine only does sometimes. It isn't today. My brain ain't doing the, the brain thing. Is that <laughs> is that saying that uh, Fortnite's not going too good? <laughs> Anyone with their own wheel and at least two figurines can play. Oh. So this person owns a wheels table, brings it to a public place, and doesn't have a spare wheel or figurines for somebody to join them. I think they just cooked up a recipe for a bunch of loneliness. All right, gonna run. I just ran to my PC to gift a sub. Oh, Rocco. Thanks, my dude. <laughs> Enjoy. 
Don't tell the Badass Lady Gamer to go read. Badass Lady Gamer's reading my reading out loud, which is listening. I had to get off the Fortnite, so now I'm just watching you. I don't know if my brain has enough for that. <laughs> He's reading too. Exactly. Uh, I will let it go, just as long as uh, you do not go on thinking that I just learned that. What? I will... Okay, let's get the other half of the conversation. Which I didn't need to hear since I practically invented it. All right, sister. Oh, there's Garl. Garl's chilling in the back. Let's find Garl before we go to them. Yeah, sure enough. Humble boast chef. Just like that. You're natural. Chef, thanks so much. This really will come in handy. Anytime. Reckon I'm the one who should be thanking you for all the tips. Look at him. Already making friends. <laughs> oh, there you are. Ready to go see the pirates? Book, uh, beard audiobook. Yeah, damn right. He's doing voices, so he's a good audiobook voice actor. Thank you. With no practical experience except for today and yesterday and the day before that. And D&D. &D. End of list. Well, look who it is! The deal stands. If you can't beat Valtrade at arm wrestling, y'all gonna fetch an item for us. After which, Pirate's Honor will take you to Wraith Island. Do you accept these terms? Yeah. We accept. Everybody, arm wrestling battle! Let's go! You're ready to be impressed. Beautiful. Valtrade, you're up. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. I'll do it. Plus, arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, Valir. I'll be your challenger. Valtrade. Captain, we can't leave without the coin. Go all out. Aye, aye, Captain. Right, tough one. <laughs> right, tough one you look like. Ready? On three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't even looking at the screen. Was there a mini game that popped up or did we just get smoked? Because that that threw me. I didn't have my hands on the controller or anything. <laughs> it's chest. His, his chest tattoo looks like chest hair with eyeballs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What was that? Cheater. I'm sorry. Did I miss the part where we agreed on no magic shirt rule? Sorry, pal. Captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome. This will be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. <laughs> I just back danced. Oh, you're lucky we didn't ask about any specifics. Should've negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. Haha, <laughs> Valtray truly is good at everything. <laughs> His face. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? <laughs> oh hell yeah okay okay this game's awesome 
North of Brisk is at the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of undeath accord. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it forces them to do one's bidding. I plan on using it to force the ghost captain of the Vespertine to surrender his ship to me. <sighs> Boing. Huzzah! How do we get in? Fear kept people away all this time, but you look like you can handle yourselves, so it shouldn't be a problem. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. A bit of magic should do the trick. Kenathan? I shall open the entrance to the abandoned wizard lab, or my name is not Kenathan! Ahoy, Captain. Ain't you coming with? I will stay here and make preparations for our departure. Basically, they're just going to make a bunch of fucking signs to put all around town, because that's what they do. <laughs> you love Kenathan voice? It's good. Fetch the coin of Undeath Accord, then meet me at the docks. Aye, aye, Captain. Yolanda Valtrade and Kenathan join the cargo. I love that we have a cargo slot in our party. Cargo's getting pretty stacked. I can change the order? Well, that's interesting. Is there a reason that I should change the order? Hmm. Don't know. Hmm. 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 Now that we got that out of the way, I'm keeping an eye on these pirates. You're not going to go on the historic adventure to liberate the Vespertine that we just... You told us the whole story about. I'll stay here. Got a lot of research notes to sort and organize. Okay. Fair enough. Teeks, do your thing. <laughs> Avast! Listen here before we leave. Y'all notice the wheels table right there in the corner? The watchmaker invented that game. Got real popular over the years, too. Look, I'm sorry we had to play that little trick on you. It ain't much, but I thought if maybe you wanted to go to the wheels, you could have this. Oh, we got a copper wheel. And a warrior figurine. And a mage figurine. You can now play wheels. Tables can be found mostly in taverns. Challenge town champions to earn new figurines and improve your own wheel. Oh, sick! Rules can be viewed in the how to play section of the pause menu. Feel free to try out now, or we can head to that wizard lab right away if you prefer. They're sign pirates, no data. All right, word. See you in a bit. Want to play some wheels? A uh, casual game at first. Yep. Let's learn the game. Yes. Sure. We'll put a knight there and a mage there. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do I can do anything except for spin. X is lock or unlock. R2 is spin. Okay, I'm just gonna try to like get a row of stuff. So we'll spin again. How many spins do I have? Oh, that's probably the dots. Uh, oh shit, okay, so I should lock this and then hopefully we get lucky with this last one and get more of those. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. I'm finally just now seeing the icons. We got icons right there and over there next to our, our tunes. So we're trying to get those down to zero, I guess. All right, so yeah, we need at least two of those. Shit, that doesn't seem great. Okay. Whoa, what? I didn't get anything? All right, so a little sword guy goes over there, hits for nothing? What the fuck? I don't understand what just happened. Okay, so there's like a day and a night version too. I don't understand this game. Oh, I'm seeing how there's some like notches right here. Move my head. Right there that we got three out of six. The other side we got four out of six. Yeah, I'm going for straight up diamonds this time because I want to know what happens. Fireball. Get smashed. All right. I've noticed that we only seem to be able to get like one type that does anything. So we're going for squares. Come on, give me some more squares. Hook it up, hook it up, hook it up. beef the hell up. Okay, so the dark ones power up and the light ones make you attack? Okay, we gotta get some attacks. We've been powering up like crazy. No, light ones do nothing? Well, hell yeah. All right, I lost, but I got a kick-ass golden knight. Is this like a slot machine level up thing? That's what it looks like. It seems pretty cool. You win. Yeah. Okay. Let's read the how to play on this. Wheels. Holy shit. All right, guys. Are you ready to fucking read a shitload? Overview. Wheels is a clockwork battler where each player controls two heroes. Match energy to make your heroes attack and bring the enemy crown's HP to zero. 
Okay, the table has a set of four default wheels on either side, completed by each player's player wheel. All right, each side also displays its respective player's HP, crown, and hero's figurines. All right, cool. Crown, figurines. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, yeah. Spinning the wheels. Players get up to three spins per round. Spin with R2. Wheels can be browsed with left and right and locked and locked to the X. Okay, we got that part. Energy. For a hero to act, its action rod must be lowered by matching the associated energy. Square energy is for the left hero, while diamond energy is for the right. Energy is matched in a three oak plus fashion. Three equals one, four equals two, five equals three, six equals four, and so on. Okay, so you got to get at least three to do anything. The bulwark protects the hero, protects the crown. It can be raised to resist up to five points of damage and is raised by matching hammers in three oak fashion. Okay, so I was avoiding hammers, but should really be getting those. Evolving heroes. Heroes evolve when they have enough XP. Heroes gain one XP for each tile with a blue background matching their energy type. One equals one, no three oak rule and gain two XP whenever they act. Heroes always start off at the bronze tier and can evolve to silver and gold. All right. Cool, so that's a one-to-one -one ratio. Bombs. Filling the XP bar on a gold hero will spawn a bomb, dealing two damage directly to the opponent's crown, disregarding the, their bulwark. So gold heroes are kick-ass. Each hero has its own strengths and weaknesses. There is a total of six playable heroes. Got it. All right, warrior attacks twice. The first fireball is at the ground level and easily blocked by the bulwark, while the second fireball flies at a height of six units, guaranteeing a hit on the crown even if the bulwark is maxed out. Okay. Strong against crown, weak against bulwark. Strong against bulwark, weak against crown. Specialist. Cool. We don't have any of those, so who cares? The wheel's journey begins with a bronze wheel and only the warrior and mage as playable heroes. Rumors say that those who unlock all six heroes and the platinum wheel may challenge the watchmaker herself. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to fuck them up. We're going full on a champion game. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going Knight and Mage again. Yeah, they've got no Bulwark. All right, so we can go quick. We can get at least one attack as long as we can get either a Diamond... Rigged. Rigged. All right, we're going Bulwark. Unless we get something freaking crazy. All right, that's three. So we get uh, we get a little, little attack XP going on. I think just attack. And we'll take the one XP there. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, we're going full diamond side this time. Come on, give us a two. Give us a double. Give us a double. Yes! Oh, yeah, we're just about to attack. I'd like to get some bulwark here, just increase defense, because they're about to get theirs. Hmm. I'm feeling a square. I'm feeling a square in this slot, so we're going to lock these in. And hopefully we get a double. Come on. Give us a double. Give us a double. Ooh, that'll hook us up. Okay, I'm going to go one more. I'm feeling spicy. Oh, I got fucked. Did that just go over my wall? That did. Okay, well. Give 
Give me a double. Give me a double somewhere. Okay, a little XP, I guess. Mm. I'm really going for a diamond here. Shit. Oh, yeah, give me my... Yeah, give me my bulwark. Yep. Oh, that's what the priest does? Oh, shit, they're both silver right now. That's not good. Okay, we're going hard into square. Come on, knight. I think we just hit bulwark. Yep, that was it. We just hit bulwark. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know why the arrow didn't fly over that time. They healed their fucking crown? Fuck you guys. Okay, we're going diamonds. Oh, shit. Hey, that's, uh... That's both of them. Hell yeah, good timing right there. We just got four. And leveled up. We're tied up. Holy shit. I mean, let's see if we can get some more hammers. Oh! Oh no, I hit the wrong button! Oh, saved. Saved. Look at that fucking wall. Look at that. Nice try. Nice try. Yeah, I really want to see if we can level up our, uh, our knight right there. Which we didn't. Hey, we get an attack, though. So they're leveling up like crazy, but... We're doing... We're doing all right. Okay. Hell yeah. Damn right, hell yeah. Okay. This game is actually sick. I really like this. Uh... Ooh. We're pretty far away from getting an attack on the diamond side, so let's just spin it again. Shit. Something. Come on. Oh no. They get a bomb too. Oh no, they don't get a bomb yet. Yeah, they're probably going to get an attack here, so let's just lock it. Okay, I don't need more bombs. I need freaking XP is what I need. There we go. One little, one little ping of XP. Dude, I'm about tired of their priest healing. I'm pretty much done with that. Dude, their attack on that character is six right now. That's insane. Fuck. They got the bomb. So every time that they get their little plunger, their little plunger down to the bottom, since they've got a gold hero, they get a bomb. And that bomb can suck my asshole. I've been getting really unlucky with the XP. Hello. 
Okay, we've almost got the plunger down here. Get plunged. God, they bombed us. Second one. Oh, we're so close to winning this. Okay. Come on, give us two more. Give us two more diamonds. Okay, they're going to get squares this round, and then we're going to be screwed. We need diamonds. We need diamonds so bad. Come on. Come on, last, last spin. That was it. Second one. That was it. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, we're going again. Champion game. I know what I'm doing this time. Let's go. All right, yeah, we want our knight going more often. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. Hell yes. Look at us already getting some plunger points down. Dude, look at this. 2 XP. They got 2 XP too. Already down 2 though. Yeah, I just want two squares. I want two squares. I want a double on this side. Oh fuck! I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin it. I'm gonna spin it. All right, hey, that's plunger down for both though. And an attack. Took out their bulwark. Fuck your bulwark. And we're leveled up. Dude, we're smoking it this time. Okay, my bet is they get an attack here, though. Hmm. Would love a little bulwark to help me out. It's all right. That's all right. Ooh, shit. They went hard in the squares. Yeah, they're almost guaranteed to get an attack this round. That's pretty sexy. That's pretty sexy right there, though. Mm-hmm. We don't get any bonus for hitting more than the max, though. Like, the, if the plunger goes over, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything for us. So... Choices, choices. Okay, let's hit that and let's just hope for another bulwark because they're going to get to attack. Yes! All right, our attack gets to go over the wall. One of them does. We get two attacks with the mage. There's one. Second one, straight to health. There it is. And we're leveled up. Well, that sucked. This is a pretty good round. Let's just knock, lock that in. Okay. Oh, look at that. Will we get to attack with that straight up? One, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three left. I think we need one more square. And we'll get to attack. Hell yeah. Plus a little XP for our knight.
Okay, we've got two more slots. We could get our bulwark even higher, but I'm kind of thinking we should go for a square of XP to get the mage up to gold and diamonds so that we can get a freaking attack off. Yep, mad XP too. We don't have any... Do we have any carryover damage? No. Like, just presence of Bulwark just gets rid of all damage from the night. That kind of sucks. One XP gets us to gold. So we're going to be gold for both of our people after this. Give us a double. All right. Yeah, gold and gold. Come on. They got that bulwark up just in time. Okay, the XP is really important now because we can start getting bombs. Okay, let's see what we get here. All right, let's just go straight up Bulwark. Look at that. Building a tower to the gods. Okay, I would really love for my uh, mage and my knight to get to go and attack at the exact same time. So we're going to actually hit square really hard right now. Because if I can get both of them to go at the same time, I can probably wipe out their team in one go. There, this is good. Okay, I mean, a free bomb. Who am I going to say? Why am I going to say no to a free bomb? Cool. Damn, we're not going to get to go at the same time, but I think it was worth it for the bomb. You just take down their wall. That's cool. Come on, give me that magic spin. Give me that magic, magic spin. I don't need more bulwark. Where's? There it is. Yes. Done. Got it. Champions table. Hey, you won. Congratulations. Here's your prize. Archer figurine. Yeah. You can play champion again, but you've already beaten me, so there won't be any big reward this time. I already beat you. We're done. We're done here. Oh, that's the same chick that we saw that looked like a ninja up the cliff like two game sessions ago. Kind of, sort of, just noticed their silhouette. Okay, so are we going to the pirate ship? We should probably save the game. It's been, like, a long time. I think there was a save book right at the entrance. If there's a book, we're gonna save. And... It's fully walked the wrong way. This town is so big! Who 
Who is your urban planner? Tell them to calm their tits. Yeah, peasant. There's a safe spot at the fishing hole, though, for sure. Oh, that's right, we're going to the wizard place with no door. You know what we got in here? Some kind of science bitch. You know what we do with science bitches? We root them out. You know what we root them out with? Kenathan. I have found the door, but it seems, seems I will only be able to lift it a few inches. Fall trade? On your mark, pal. I was looking at my phone and my kid. Let me know that you're back and I needed to watch. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey! Respect. Respect. Comments! <laughs> Bro, that's gonna surprise me every time. Fucking guns out! Yeah! Looks like I skipped leg day, but I don't. Yolanda, hurry! No sweat, big guy. Demolition is my middle name. Saunters over slowly. ENT. Ah, that's what you get, you old ruin. That's what I'm talking about, Yolanda. His neck does not match his arms. Nope. That's one way to do it. A job well done, mateys. Better let the captain know our part of the mission was a success. The Lair's crew might need a few pointers in there, so I will remain with them for now. Sure, can't hurt to have a mage around. Bing. Oh, I will prove to be a valuable companion or my name is not Kenathan. Have it your way then. What is this, McDonald's? Coming, Valtrade? Aye. Good luck in there. I haven't quite gotten Valtrade down. Valtrade is a... He's, he's kind of a rando. Wow. Spoopy decor. Mmm. My, what an improbable place! And look at this device. I wonder what it does. This is a lot to take in. Why don't you explore a bit? Is Kenathan the big bad? If so, did I give the big bad the craziest voice ever? It looks like it should emit LUD, but it's inactive right now. Ooh, we can move stuff around with our fist farts. Fist fart! Fist fart! Fist fart! Found a green crystal. Oh, let's examine our new green crystal. Expertly carved to focus light beams. Okay. Hope we get some more rainbow conches up in here. And that's it for this episode, gamers. In this episode, we, uh, well, we explored the town of Brisk. It was huge. We decimated the 
fish life in a fishing pond. We became pirates. We found some new voices. It's pretty epic. If you want to join the other lovely gamers in chat, head to Beard on Fire slash, or wait, twitch.tv slash Beard on Fire. I'm good at this. And after that, if you want to subscribe, you should do it. And there's a thumbs up button. Hit that if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Both are fine. And we will see you next time. Peace.